Tenali Raman and the Cheating Merchant Raman met a friend who had just returned from a visit to the temple town of Banaras. I prayed to God and returned safely, but the Lord does not seem to be happy with me, said the friend. What happened? asked Raman. Raman's friend had left all his jewellery with a merchant. On his return from Benares, when he went to collect it, the merchant said, What jewellery? When did you give it to me? I don't remember anything. Raman's friend was in tears. I know he is lying, but I can't prove it. Raman knew at once the merchant had cheated his friend. Don't worry, I will meet the merchant in the morning. You come there at the same time. He will return the jewellery to you, Raman said. If you succeed, I will consider myself lucky, said Raman's friend. The next morning, Raman called on the merchant. I am leaving town for few days. I want to leave my treasures with you for safekeeping, said Raman. The merchant readily agreed. He heard on about the Raman's collection of gems. Just as Raman is about to give his back riches, Raman's friend walked in. The merchant did not want any argument in Raman's presence. He was afraid that Raman would change his mind and go away taking his riches with him. The merchant acts quickly. He greeted the man with a smile. Please be seated. I will get your jewellery. Turning to Raman, the merchant explained. This man had left his jewellery with me when he went to Banaras. Everybody trust you. That's why I came to you, Raman said. The merchant promptly returned the back of jewellery to Raman's friend. Raman handed over his bag of riches and left. The greedy merchant eagerly dipped his hand into Raman's bag. There seemed to be a necklace, but when he took his hand out, he saw it was a necklace of tulsi beads. Raman had outwitted the cheating merchant. Thanks for watching. Kindly like, subscribe, and comment.